Hi there, Shalini here from Tech Gatha and this video covers assignments on for loop. In case you don't know what are for loops, you can watch the video under the playlist Java Tutorials for Beginners. The link for the same is provided in the description. So let's get started with the assignments on for loop. Choose one. The solution is 1. Here you can see there is a semicolon after the for loop. This is not an error in case you have chosen the output as compile time error. The only thing is when you have a semicolon after the for loop, the for loop completes the execution here only and then it comes to the next line. So these two lines are not a part of the for loop. For loop executes for i is 1 less than 5 and increments the value of i. The moment the value of i becomes 5, the condition is false, the for loop completes. m++, so m is 2, it increments the value of m by 1, 3, decrements the value of n by 1, that is 14, so you get the answer as 3 and 14. output here is 3. Why? For s equals to 1, s greater than equal to 10 means 1 greater than equal to 10. Of course, that condition is false. So, this for loop never executes. Now, only this statement is a part of this for loop because there are no curly braces and if there are no curly braces, then only the first statement after the for block is a part of the for. So what it does, this condition is false for s equals to 1 itself. This for loop never gets executed, hence this statement never gets executed. It just displays the value of x as 100 because it is a post increment operator. A simple program it runs for n equals to 1 till 10 and for every value of n it prints the cube of the same so math dot pow n is 1 comma x is 3 cube of 1 cube of 2 cube of 3 and so on till n equals to 10 Here, for every value of ch, it goes inside the loop. If the value of ch is any of the vowels, it just adds 5 in the character. So 65 plus 5, that is 70. And at 70, the character is. So A, B, C, D, E, F. That is at 70, it prints F. Same way, then the next vowel is E, F, G, H, I, J. Then the next vowel is I, J, K, L, M, N and then for O, P, Q, R, S, T and for U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So it increments by 5 and prints. 65 to 90 we have the capital case and then 97 to 122 we have small case. Hence, first it prints the uppercase values and then it prints the lowercase values. Last program. Last assignment. Again, it's a simple program. It prints all the factors of the value in the number 15. So 15 mod 1 is 0. Yes, 1. 15 mod 2 is not 0. It doesn't print. 3, 4, 5. So 3 is a factor, 5 is a factor and then 15 is a factor of 15 itself. So with this we complete with the assignments on for loops. Happy learning. Take care.